The marijuana trade is a thriving underground industry that exists in and around Leh's major suburbs. Its trade links extend from the highlands to the New Guinea Islands. Do you think the market no must be the same price or the same price and different lab? Blue must be the same price and the same price. These pictures filmed last week in a settlement in Leh shows marijuana dealers selling the drug. This is just one settlement. A sizable portion of the marijuana ends up here at Leh's Kamkumung market. This is what you would call a retail outlet. Philip Pep, the principal of Omili Primary School in Kamkumung, is extremely concerned about the proximity of the trading and the availability well, uh, of the drug. Really, the school is in the center of all the activities of drug and um, violence and everything. And um, especially for the case on drug, uh, the drug sales are just around the school. We have the main market there, Kamkumu market. We also have another market over there, the Awagazi market. It says children are vulnerable to drug-induced violence and drug sales. Omili Primary School has a zero-tolerance policy on drugs. Any student found to be in possession of marijuana is immediately referred to the police. Drugs are a major worry for teachers here. It is a reality they're learning to deal with. Philip had a few scuffles with drug users at the nearby market. But he says police can't solve the problem themselves. He says it needs an approach that addresses income generation opportunities, education, and an environment that allows people to support themselves. And we provide all the avenues and provide all the things they are required. Then the government won't be spending money trying to solve problems. That view has been echoed by community leaders in two of Lay's biggest settlements. This is old man here, was in grade 12, grade 11, grade 10, grade 9 fail. Or still, I need more stuff inside. You know, at one place, half logo, so all the stuff that's on. The only thing that only can work him and plant the blood, but through the black and passing long, or drugs. Yeah. The marijuana held in this container is worth 300,000 kina. It represents three years of hard work, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. Lay's drug squad, along with mobile response units, have been some of the most effective at cracking down on the drug problem, but they're struggling. The drug squad's only vehicle has been out of service this year, and they need at least 150,000 kina to get a new vehicle. Scott Wyde, National MTV News, Lay. The prognosis on the health workforce in Papua New Guinea is not good. Secretary for Health Pasco Kase says it lacks manpower. There are not enough doctors and nurses as a result of lack of proper planning and this is reflected in our low level of medical services. As a corrective measure, the health department is now looking at recruiting nurses and medical officers from nearby countries. At the same time, the department is working with churches to rehabilitate nursing schools in the country from a grant of 30 million kina from the Australian government. Currently provided by the churches, mainly for the community health workers, uh, quite run down and the capacity to take more intakes uh, are handicapped. So we